Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm gonna to show you a web catalogs desktop app. I'm gonna run through every little detail that you need to know and answer a few questions. So let's dive straight in. Oh, before I forget, if you'd like to start using web catalog, you can actually use the link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. So once you click on it, you'll be redirected to their website and you can create your account. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to download web catalog. So literally all you're doing is you are searching for it. It will be the very first search result. And once you're in their homepage, it's very easy to download the web catalog app for your desktop. So it says web catalog desktop, go ahead and click on it. Over here, you're gonna click on download for Windows. And within a couple of seconds, I would say about a minute, you are up and running. So what I like about this is the dashboard is pretty intuitive, nice and easy to use. On the right hand side, there are a bunch of apps. All right, so if there's something that you're searching for, likely it's in here. You don't have to go and search for it um, on the web or you have to go and look for it anywhere else. It's all over here. On the left hand side, you've got your um, menu items over here. So you've got different spaces that you can manage. Uh, you can manage all of the updates for the apps that you have installed. And then you can manage all of your installed apps right over here so you can see what you have installed. Uh, you've got a library over here as well. It's just to jump into the library. So your library will be a bunch of apps that you have saved to your library. Um, and then we've got members, of course, if you have more than one person within your uh, web catalog account. And then we have just our general settings. So I'm just gonna go back to home and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install an app. So um, some of the additional things over here to just installing an app, because I'm sure you're looking through this list and you're saying, all right, but there is a WhatsApp app. Um, you know, there is a TikTok app. There is some of these apps that you're seeing here. There is already an app for those applications. So why are we using a web catalog. So some of the nice things about web catalog is it allows you to centralize everything in one space and it also allows you to customize perhaps shortcuts. Um, there are also some security options that you can go and um, change and customize to your own liking. So it does operate in its own container based windows. So um, apps won't be tracking other apps activity. So, for example, let's use YouTube. Let's go ahead and click on install. So once you've clicked on install on the right hand side, you will see over here it is working. So if you give it a few seconds, it'll be right over here. And right now it is installing. All right, we have now completed our installation and right over here, you can literally click on it and it will now open as its individual desktop app. Okay, so YouTube app is now open and additional to YouTube and the settings and functionalities you have on YouTube, you can now see on the left hand side, you've got your dashboard. Uh, you can also create sub spaces over here. And then you can see over here, I've got the actual URL. You can add that as a favorite. And then on the right hand side, you've got your downloads. You've also got this command center over here, which is quite nice. You can actually add a subspace right here. You can manage your bookmarks, your history, your downloads, and all of your other settings. Mm -hmm. And then you can also go into settings over here on the top right. And this will give you a bunch of additional settings, which are uh, native to web catalog. So these are web catalog settings. You can customize this for yourself. If you go back into web catalog, you can now manage everything from here from um, adding additional apps to removing and changing all of the details of your installed apps. You can literally just use the gear icon over here or you can manage them right over here. So generally it is fantastic. The only thing that I can say is it has been slightly slower than loading a web page. But if I have a look at um, having multiple tabs on my browser, versus having these apps, the um, CPU usage is actually a lot less while using these apps running directly on my system.